Iron Man fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Ultimate Iron Man Competition Season Zero, uh, brought to you by Captain Adonis and Know-It-All DM. Uh, Know-It-All DM has been very busy building scenarios to try to kill us, and he has been very successful up to date, but not me. I haven't died yet. As you can see, we're on Friggle. Yes, for Friggle. And there's the patrol vessel. We were on our way to the trading station and it crossed our paths here, so I think we need to try killing it. I only got a hundred missiles on me, but a hundred missiles. I mean, Okay, so before we take this thing on, let's <clears throat> let's have something to eat really quick. Where's the... it's in here, like this. Actually, let's put this stuff, get this off me here. Loot from drones. Love their loot. I can restock my ammo. Um, nice. Get that in there, that in there, and like this. Fill all, fill all, go into the fridge and eat a couple of those. Come on, one more. Okay, we're looking good now. Let's do this. Now, it's over water. I'm not sure if I want to attack it over water, so I think I want to pull it. Pull it back over onto the shore here. See what sort of grief it's going to give us. Has it spot us? Yeah, I don't think it has because it's still moving that direction. Oh. There we go. It spotted us. It spotted us. So I'm not really sure what its defenses are. Let's come down at it and see. What we can see, I got 340 as my range. So we don't want it getting ahead of us here. And 340. Uh, is it bugged? Yeah, it's bugged. Okay. Crap. Yeah. And what's it doing? It's is it trying to fly straight up at me? It is! It's gaining altitude! Wow, I didn't know they would do that. And yeah, see I can see the thrusters through it. That means it's bugged down. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, because I would have liked to have killed it. Maybe we can see where the, uh, all the gear is on it then while it's bugged out. We'll take advantage of, that's a pretty cool looking, uh, ship. Huh? Pretty cool. So it's got, it's got nasty turrets, the green turrets on the bottom. Yeah, see, I can't target it. And it's not shooting at me anyway. It's pretty cool. It looks like a bomber, really. Pretty cool. Pretty cool CV. Little CV. Neat. I wonder where the tur or the. Uh, I wonder where the. Um, oh, is that the actual? Oh no, that's a door. Okay. Wonder where its core could be. Oh, we can clip through it. Whoa, that's freaky. <laughs> it's a cool design. It's nice. It's efficient. It has a few blocks to it, really. Yeah, 
Yeah, it would be actually, if it wasn't for the weapons on it, it would be a cheap starter CV. Although, are those large, are those large uh, thrusters? Are they the 2x2? Two two? Yeah. Yeah. That's a little expensive. Well, interesting. Too bad it's bugged out. We can't fight it. But we got to look at it really close. <laughs> so it's got a red turret up at the top and three green turrets underneath. Okay. I didn't see any other, um, I didn't see any of the uh, sentry guns on it, so good to know. Uh, it can really do some damage then with those turrets, especially the green turrets. That is definitely a, uh, a base busting patrol vessel. Um, and if it debugs out, it could definitely smoke my um, CV and bait like it, it that would do some serious damage those three green and if all we had was just well bases can have some really serious weaponry though so man should I build here oh uh, did it is it still bugged out yeah it's still bugged out okay um, <clears throat> for starters, this planet, the visuals for the planet, uh, it's not that great for recording. It's always, it seems like it's perpetually foggy. It's just always freaking foggy, foggy, foggy. If it's not foggy, it's snowing or it's heavy snow and you can't see. It's perpetual bad vision so I was looking at the map um, I didn't find my mission POI yet so unfortunately I've got to stick around and figure out where my mission POI is I, I'm heading down to the trading station now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the trading station and oh what do we got over here Oh, it's something I've already discovered, or else it would, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll head over to the trading station and I'll meet you there. Okay, let's go bounce out of here and check it out. We're cool, we're cool. So there's a settlement here. There was a crash sentinel front end or something over, over there. You can see it right there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really interested in the loot at this point. What I need is mats, like large quantities of high-end mats. <laughs> Uh, okay, buddy, what do you got? What would you sell us? Emergency rations. I'll buy it. Um, that's it. Really mundane stuff. Okay. <clears throat> no detox kits. Let's buy those. already full stack okay okay so let's well let's go to the trading hall first what are these guys got here we've got servant corp he'll buy he'll buy tons of medium armor for lots of money night vision goggles and all the boosts Okay. I've got lots of money right now. I mean, it's not like a huge thing. I want to find Pentaxid. Sell me some frickin' Pentaxid already. I don't want to pick it. 
I haven't picked any yet. I haven't picked any. I've got hundreds. And I haven't picked any. I've looted it. Or bought it. Oh, he's not going to put tax it. Blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just hoping he might have some meds. Alright, well, let's go to the med center. Mm -hmm. Non-lootable table. Love it. Okay. Health packs. Bye, 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 bye. Trauma kits. Bye, 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 bye. Detox. Decontamination. Okay. Almost full stacks of all three of those. Got full stacks of uh, the other two already. Building on second stacks. Nice. <laughs> I, I probably don't need any more healing. I Chances are I probably won't need it. Because I'm going to have like berry juice and crap with me too, right? So, uh, I don't know what the, the next two missions are though. That's the problem. I can't really I'm just speculating saying that I probably won't need them but I, mean, I hope not it's not active too bad okay that's fine that's fine so armor the one guy will do armor and boosts he'll do the medium armor and all the different boosts and really that was the only thing that it would even interest me they're selling that stuff. Uh, so that's <clears throat> that's a disappointing trading station, to tell you the truth. They got nothing I really would want to make a camp on this planet for. And the planet itself is always... Sure, okay, the sun is out right now. Right when I say that. I was just about to say it's always foggy and you can't see nothing. Because the sun's never out. But whatever. It's rare that the sun is out, okay? And for that part, that means that the solar panels aren't going to work very well. Uh, it's... I wish, I wish this planet wasn't so freaking big. <laughs> Too hard to find our missions. Okay. Um, well... I mean, really, you don't. You guys don't want to see me loot like settlements and crap. Like that's just. I don't need any of that crap. I'm not even gonna stop for it. I need high-end stuff. And then I'm gonna have to come back. Okay, you know what? I've got lots of pentaxid. <sighs> Let's go to Gore Gore Gornanal Gornanal, because it has a. It has the closest orbit to the sun, and I think that'll have higher end. It might have like, like, uh, um, Arrestrium and, and Zascosium. In the meantime, I'm going to head back to the. Where are we here? See, there's Sathium over here. If I, if I flew over the pole. That would do nothing, because that would just get us to the other side. Derp or derp. Um, yeah, I guess we're going going back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is is I'm going to go back to my CV. I'm going to bring it bring it and my my vehicles over to probably just over to the settlement and mine out that large Sathium deposit, or I'll go take the HV down and mine that out first. Then, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly back, I'm gonna grab my HV, I'm gonna go mine that out, because it's just derelict this. I, I can avoid that, no problem. And then, and then I'll grab the CV again, we'll fly the CV back over here, and we'll grab that Sathium deposit. And then I'm going to go to space and I will meet you guys in space once I've done that. So I'm not actually going to take over a base. I'm not going to even look for the mission right now. I've uncovered almost half the planet and I haven't found it. So I'm going to have to come back and I'll just scout it off camera. But 
I need to get a base up and running. I mean, I really just, I'm crippling myself at this point. So we're going to go to the end game planet, but I'm going to grab some of the stuff first before we do it. So I will meet you up in space. Okay, well, guess what we found? Let me just check the map. I was, I was actually, I was about to head north and reconnect up with the CV. And my radar, I just started following my radar. Uh, it brought me to here and then it brought me to over here and there was a whole bunch of, I thought oh my it's gonna be here for sure and I ended up getting them all uh, to reveal on the map but none of them they were all red named and all of a sudden it was like oh there's something here another radar blip and boom this thing came into view I flew up to it and purple name so woo. This is a massive, massive base. I've been through it before, but not as an indestructible thing. So this is, this has so many, this, oh my God. There has, there is so many spawners in it and so many freaking, uh, sentry guns in it it's nuts it's nuts I can't remember if there's hidden spawners I'm really hoping that the spawners are destroyable yeah so there should be a way to get in along the there should be doorways no uh, right yeah they're right here so you go along the walkway, and then there's doorways right there. So let's just test to see how we got to do this. Okay, so indestructible doorways, that means they're sensor driven. Or, or you just walk up to them and hit F, and you can see stuff is already spawning. There's Xerax in there. Okay, so this is going to be a huge POI. It's got a huge amount of loot. Um, this is exciting. Okay, now I know what I'm up against. So we need to really, we need to get our, our guns and toys and everything in order we're not doing bad we could probably assault it like right now type thing but we're way too early in the week I mean this is literally I have like five more days to get this done at this point so yeah I mean maybe this video will be like the day before I release the next one but no I'm gonna I'm glad I'm glad we found it I'm glad we found it. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go get the CV and finish off what we're going to do. <sighs> okay. This is going to be fun. This is going to be tedious. A lot of killing. There's lots of shotgun guys in there. I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need like lots for my rocket launcher I'm gonna need like like uh, lots of grenade um, uh, the uh, IEDs uh, or whatever you want to call them clay I'm gonna call them claymores because you can stick them to things I, I just they just look kind of like a claymore anyway um, yeah interesting okay let's go get the CV Okay, wow, I just wanted to show you guys this while I'm out mining. I was just coming up to the Sathium deposit and realized that I was, like, surrounded by golems. Like, literally this tundra. I started driving around a bit. And, well, they were here. I just... <laughs> okay. They, they were, like, everywhere. Okay, here, here they are. Yeah, see? They're, look at... Just... Just... <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. It's like... It's like free loot, especially when you got tons of ammo. <laughs> I mean, how can I... How can I resist? And I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Because not only... God, that light is really bright at night, eh? Let's see. When we loot this guy, what he's got. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, see? Pentaxid. I was getting pentaxid off these, refined pentaxid quite a bit. <clears throat> so, totally worth it when you see them. And, but the problem is, is I think the, the surface of this planet might be covered with them. So it's like, it's like an overkill abundance of golems. Well, at least in the tundra area, it seems that it's just like, you can just hunt these things for days for days see let's just pull them to me get that one get that one and then as he gets close we'll kill him and then kill him okay so now level off, jump out, <clears throat> drone it up, grab this one first because I killed him first. See that? Pentaxid. Refined Pentaxid. I don't remember them having refined Pentaxid all the time. Like pretty much every time. Or two refined Pentaxid with the restroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, wow. Um, this planet has kick-ass resources just because of this. Wow, come on. Really? That's a little bit overkill. That's just too much loot on them, I think. I don't know, does it seem excessive to refine Pentaxid on like every one or two on every single golem? And there's like, look it, I just spin in a circle and I can just see them still. And as I drive up to that one, I bet right now, I'll... as I drive up to him to kill him, where was he here? There's probably more of them. Eh, maybe not. Okay. Well, maybe I'm thinning out the herd. <clears throat> maybe not. Like you can see, a couple more appear as I drive up to this one. It's like endless... Oh, man. Endless loot. Endless ores. Like, do I, I, I... I'm not even sure if I need to go anywhere else. Have we got some Zascosium yet? No? Like, just drive around here and kill golems all day long. And build your empire out of golems. <laughs> okay there comes to a point where it's just where it's tedious and it's not fun anymore and it's going to get to that point really quick so uh, what I want to do is I just want to get the Sathium see they're just everywhere they're just everywhere I'm not going to be able to kill them all <clears throat> so yeah see it's it's crazy um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna mine because, oh wait, did I bring my, yeah, I got my ore scanner, okay, um, let's turn my lights off, there we go, isn't Sathium, isn't Sathium one of those ones that you need, uh, the ore scanner for? I'm not sure. I can't see. Oh, I'm getting it right now. I'm getting Sathium. What the hell? Okay, so it's a, it's just a regular voxel mine on this planet. Okay, yep. It can be anything on any planet. It doesn't matter. You can, you can assign it to be voxel. You can assign, assign it to be nuggets. Uh, 
You can do like just meteors if you want. <clears throat> I had some planets that I made um, that you guys, some of you may recall seeing in some old Alpha 7 multiplayer that pretty much I made like, <laughs> like a total Care Bear planets really. I mean it was just it was just no POIs and just meteors fell on your head of various ores. None of the real high end ores mind you. Although cobalt magnesium but uh, but nothing past that so so you can make a SV warp, I guess, with the basics from those planets, but <clears throat> to get there you needed a CV warp anyway, so it didn't really matter. Okay, let's do some cockpit mining, it's much easier. Just point it at the ore and go. I think we're done. A large deposit. Was that a large deposit? Yep, that was a large deposit. Okay, so let's go. I didn't really want to show you mining, but <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the crazy golem situation. Um, yeah. We are back in space after mining up uh, what about four, four full stacks of sathium ore, and yeah, I didn't find any. I didn't discover any gold, so we're just not going to worry about that right now. It's not a pressing issue. Uh, what is pressing is now that we found where mission three is, we can go somewhere and prep for it. We've got. We've got enough to warp around quite a bit right now. So I think I want to lay down this base that I have cooked up. Um, I'm not going to lay it down here. I'm going to lay it down in the next week's sector. Um, as long as we're actually allowed to. Now I'm just going to look that up really quick here. So let's go like this. We're going to log out just so that you guys can see the rules. That's why I'm doing this. I guess I could have brought up Steam and showed you. but um, So we'll just select the uh, Iron Man now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Week four mission is Gornan. Gornanel. 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 Gorn, Gorn, Gorn Nanel, Gorn Nanel, whatever. Um, okay, so let's get into Uh, yeah, I didn't get to make the intro video. Because um, I actually didn't react in time to get the, the, <laughs> the, the video in. I just got back from um, a fairly extended holiday, actually. Uh, and that's why I didn't do the previous Iron Man, even. So, yeah. Um, okay, there there is nothing in here that says... Uh, there's nothing in here that says we're not allowed to go to the next thing. And I think that's why he just made it as easy as possible. He, he just says you cannot attack a mission POI unless this is a me weekly mission. A mission POI has a purple name, Alien Admin Corps. Um, and then the weekly mission is listed by the what we just read there. So... Uh, as long as we don't go and attack the weekly mission for Gorn Nanel, we can still go there, set up a base in its orbit, and go mine its goodies, right? We should be able to. I mean, if I get in trouble, okay, well, this, this is the inaugural season. We're still ironing out the bugs, but I think it's totally fine. I, 
I don't I don't even think I'm gonna ask that one basically okay so let's get back into our game here I just wanted to double check the rules okay um, well we might as well just warp there uh, I mean I've got full everything here we are uh, I can't fit any more in my vehicles basically I'm having storage problems unless I start attaching cargo boxes to the outside of my vehicles we're full so we want to go to Gornadal you can see it has the closest orbit to the Sun out of all these sectors so and that's where we got to go next and, and it also has I'm hoping that it actually can connect to the alien outpost too but you know what if we have to do two jumps to get to the alien outpost oh well I can do one jump to Friggle and that's good for now um, I'm fine with that so let's lock that target and warp in or warp out I should say Okay, first time going to this sector. Okay, that looks like a big planet. Seven, almost 7k out, and it looks massive. Yeah, okay. Um, no other entities, no other asteroids. Okay. Um, iron, copper, promethium around it. Doesn't look like it has a moon. What's it got for? It's got Zascosium and Arrestrium. So we're going to have to find us that stuff and dig it up. No, no depletion on those, though. So that's it. Once I do it, that's it. That's all it's going to have. Oof. Yikes. Seems like there's only depletion on iron on all the um, planets. So. So there is a, a, a limited amount of resources, a very limited amount of the high-end resources. Uh, it seems iron is pretty much unlimited, which you don't really need to have unlimited iron of it, because, I mean, there's so many POIs anyway, right? So it's, it's kind of a, huh, that's, yeah. Although iron is nice to have a big, stack ingots for when you need to do something with it like make ammo or well they 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 make it with plates now anyway we're here um okay where's the sun let's find the sun the sun's there let's align ourselves with the galactic up and down okay so the planet's there. Actually, that would be a really good view from the base, I think. Wouldn't it? Although if it was facing that way more, so we'd have to go this way. To get the planet in our view. Oh, wait. That's the sun there. That was all turned around. Okay, so let's go in and if I do it there, if I do it there, the windows will be in the wrong spot. I'm like way on the wrong side of the frickin' that sucks. I gotta go way over here. Okay, uh, well maybe we'll run across an asteroid or something. I just, the reason I'm doing this is purely aesthetic which is kind of crazy. I don't do a lot of purely aesthetic things, but I, you'll see why. You'll see why. Oh, 
Okay. So if I did it there. And then spun 90 degrees. And what do we see? A nebula. Hmm. I can't see the planet. Well, we, we would be able to a bit, but it's just not. Ugh. You know what? I don't want to spend all episode finding a place to throw this. Um, let's do it. Let's jump out and spawn the space. It's pretty cool. Uh, that way we can... Four mil is only six. Yeah, that's not too bad. Although I could probably get closer to the planet, you know. I don't know if there's a CV, but I think we can we can get a little closer. I think I think we can edge it a bit here. Actually, if we're gonna do that, let's even go around it this side. And make sure I'm galactic flat. That way when I spawn it, it's getting closer to what I where I want. I guess I don't have to go too far out into space to do this. I'm, I mean, you know what? If a patrol vessel of some sort comes by and destroys it, well, my bad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Shouldn't have done that. But the thing is, I'll be around when a patrol vessel comes so I can jump into a ship and at least attack it, like with my SV. If I'm not in this play field, it'll unload and nothing will attack the base anyway. Okay, so how's the sun here? So when I face the sun now and I turn 90, that's getting better. That's getting better. That's definitely getting better. I can see the planet now. Okay, let's keep going this direction here. I know, purely aesthetic, purely aesthetic, kind of crazy. But I'm just going to spawn this in and call, call it an episode, so it's been a busy video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Galactic flat, looking at the sun, 90 degrees. Nice, that's getting better. That's not so bad now. I think we can live with that. We're, we're 3,000 meters. I mean, if it gets bad, what I'll do is I'll mount weapons on the freaking thing, and any ship that comes by is going to take a serious pelting uh, and probably have its weapons destroyed anyway. So, mm. yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's... Galactic flat, jump out, jetpack. Okay, here we can turn our light on. I've got my EVA on, so we can just. I've got. I got oxygen on me, and we can always come rushing back in here if we need to. So, okay, let me out. Um, So let's do the galactic flat. Well, it doesn't really matter for us. I just want to stare straight at the sun. Galactic flat. Get the... Come on. Get this out. We want the space mining depot. You can see I put it... Well, I mean... It, was all, it costs a lot. So I'm glad it's done cooking. And we're going to spawn that in. 
and I'm going to galactic flat that. So we galactic flat it, and then it's looking at the sun, we spawn it. Nice. So it has no generators on it, none. <laughs> I'm crazy, right? No generators? Is that... Did I actually say that? Well... Let's have a look, shall we? Now, I've had to jump start this platform in the past it's not that big of a deal I do have a ton of generators it's kind of weird doing it um, you know what let's let's come land on it I'm gonna park now and then I'll I'll give you a quick tour Okay, let's just bring this stuff in here, nice and close, and you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Oh, am I way too far? What's going on? Yes. <laughs> wow, so deceiving. So deceiving. Okay. And let's keep going over and flatten out. There we go. Okay. We can turn engines off, drills off. Okay. Now, for some reason, it's not firing up. So I'm going to try and jump start it here. Um, well, it's an even smaller one. Okay. It's kind of funny. We got to get the we got the got to get the engine cranking first, and once it starts cranking, well, there you know what? Maybe sometimes it has built up a charge. Uh, the power's on. No, okay. And come on. Consumption. So we're we're getting 2.9 megawatts out of it, and we're consuming nothing right now. Cause okay, so if we turn that on, turn that. Do we just try? I need to turn all this stuff on, though. I mean, it's weird that it does this. It's really weird. It won't, it's like the, uh, it's like the capacitors won't start working until some other way kick starts it or I log off. Let's, let's try, let's try, uh, logging off and logging back in. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just call it an episode. So let's, uh, do that. Sometimes this will kickstart it also. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. And. Oh, there it goes. See? 
it just powered up. There we go. There we go. We got gravity now. And you'll notice that the temperature is coming down because, yeah, we're in a force field zone that we can oxygenate. Pretty cool, eh? Okay, so I know it's not the prettiest platform in the world, uh, but like all platforms, it's usually a full base underneath. So this is where I'll throw all the grow plots, obviously, uh, all ready to go. And then uh, this is where the furnace lives. And he's he's all ready to accept all that sathium and and neo that we just uh, threw in. Let's actually we'll take a look at the stats in a second. I'll just keep showing you. So here's a little bit of a um, like a medical area. Um, we've got some some good decent gear in here. I don't have a repair station. Okay, so I'm gonna put the repair pad on this base i'm gonna put the uh build a, a console we've got a deconstructor here we've got a couple of events constructors we've got a ton ton of storage um and then this is just basically for looks it is just a this is my i guess my own little personal uh brew pub where I can go pass out, you know, have a shower, um, you know, do the other things, and then pass out in one of the bunks. So, yeah, uh, this has no... Oops. It says it has four generators, but it doesn't actually have generators. They're capacitors. And you can see that uh, it has zero fuel tanks. <laughs> Literally no fuel. It's building up battery power, though, and everything's fully running. Um, so with it idling, it looks like it's at... 618 kilowatts so they changed everything again on me right like how they how all the power is but but that's okay this is going to be okay this is a lot of extra overhead for a finished base and so it's going to sit idle quite a bit and completely charge up to full so when i come and use it the battery takes forever to drain on it because it's constantly getting two megawatts. Constantly. There is no stopping that. It just constantly gets two megawatts. So uh, it charges up pretty quick. And it, and it, and it really mitigates how much um, the gear uses up when it is running so like when you got the constructor running full time and maybe a, another con one of the or a deconstructor and maybe the constructor and the furnace when, after it had a full charge you think it would just deplete that super fast well it's not so bad because it's it's charging back up at the same time really really fast like at two it's got two megawatts right so um and it's always that. It'll always stay there. So this wasn't as close to the sun as I was hoping. Uh, if, I was, if it was closer, we could have got up to about 4 megawatts. But that's okay. This is the closest solar system. So this is the best we're going to get. Which is decent. I mean, it's full-time 2 megawatts. Like, ooh, nice. So we could even run one of the advanced... Um, constructors of some sort or you know deconstructor we could run one full time and probably still charge up that's how cool that is okay well guys I'm going to leave it off here uh, let's put some oxygen in can't put fuel in <laughs> 
it's charging up as we speak. You can see it moving. That's cool. Yep. It's already up to 140. Yeah, that's how fast it charges. That'll keep up with the furnace running. That's good. This is gonna this is gonna work out really good for us. Okay, guys. Uh, next episode, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do more work here. Probably try and get uh, some Arrestrum's Ascosium. We might go down to the planet with the SV and scope it out first before taking the CV down with the miner. Um. And then, because uh, uh, I really need some some high end ores at this point, I don't have a ton. Although once we stow everything away, and I'll I'll suss it out. I'll see what our inventory is like. I know I've got a really excessive in inventory right now, and I can probably deconstruct a lot of stuff and throw it into. Now that this is spawned, I can actually move on to my next blueprint too. Which is going to be a CV, a combat CV that I've made. And it is called the Bullfrog. <laughs> yep, my Bullfrog. But <laughs> as you can see, it's ridiculously expensive. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. I might have to get it, put it into creative and trim down some of the weaponry. And swap out some of the weaponry for some of the cheaper weapons. I still, I, I'll be fine because, uh, um, yeah, I could probably pull it off if I if I trim it out. So, but oof. Well, I've got lots of blocks, so that can knock that time down quite a bit. So we'll see, we'll see. That's what we're aiming for. This is our end game combat cv it's just a tiny little thing but it's super fast and it has a lot of punch and a lot of armor that's all it is it's flying it's fast flying armor with a lot of weapons on it okay guys till next time you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day